Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be jumping down into the charts for Cardano to see what's been going on most recently and what I expect to happen next. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you'll be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord links in the description down below fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free to join and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there right let's uh let's jump into this right so Cardano paired up with USDT uh the hourly chart Binance is our data source here okay so um we've been talking about maybe pulling down to the 87.6 to 90 cent range uh we've actually found that uh, the 87.6 is currently holding as our lowest point um, on these couple of candles in the last couple of hours. Now, uh, essentially, it's possible that we could come down a little bit lower, and I want to go through what that might look like, and this could also be a point of reversal, so we'll also go through those options, okay? Um, so we're going to be watching very, very closely what happens in the next couple of hours to know where we are likely to go here with ADA. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to acknowledge that this is a fifth wave low, okay? Um, so we've got that currently set down here at the 87.6. We have our our fourth wave high that's currently up here at the top of this c wave okay and we've got a bunch of different things that are going on here we've got an abc here we've got abc here um so essentially what we're actually looking for is uh this is actually just i think an overextended c wave at the point in time so we'll measure that up to start with and we'll see how that kind of plays out we'll just check to see yeah these two are the same so i'll grab that up to the high point here and then we'll just move this over to our high point over here Cool. Okay, so we're overextending on the C wave. We're uh, right down at the one eight uh, one three eight two. Uh, we haven't gone down to um, the one point six one eight. So there's a probability that this turns into five waves. It's just not there yet. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that, at least from the bigger scale of things. It is possible, of course, that the C wave has five waves, and I do think that is something that we uh, are actually witnessing. And um, so if we grab, uh, actually, it's not even going to be that point. It's going to be here. Um, and I think if I were to then go ahead and just move that there and just pin that in, there we go, uh, move it over to this point, and we can see that this, yeah, could potentially be our um, five waves, one, two, three, four, and final fifth, um, possibly. The other option I want to kind of run through here is the fact that this might be a three, three, five, which is looking highly probable right now, um, is that, um, you know, we go down a little bit lower, okay, and we haven't find we haven't reached the the actual bottom just yet for that we have to kind of take into consideration the entirety of this move right so um, from our wave one high to the wave three low here we just want to check to find out where our uh, 0 0.618 actually lands and um, because that is going to be the point where uh, essentially we might be thinking about some kind of uh, lower low and uh, possibly let me just pull that here um, and it's not actually it. Um, so so that's actually an interesting point. So it looks like um, from from a technical standpoint right now, um, 87.6, we're hoping to hold. If we can hold that, then, uh, you know, there's no extended waves occurring here, uh, other than the fact that we might end up with an extended fifth wave that goes a little bit lower, but I'm not expecting any massive drops at that point. Uh, if we bring the stochastic RSI into play here for a sec, we can see that we're oversold on the hourly chart. We know that Bitcoin's also fighting for a bit of reversal, but the momentum's not there. Bitcoin does also need to pull back down a little bit, uh, and that could also lead ADA just to a little bit lower as well. Um, so I'm not 100% confident on 87.6 holding just based on what BTC is doing. Uh, if BTC does have that final little pushback down low, which I do think it's likely to, and then we could be looking at uh, ADA here just slipping down ever so slightly lower um, before we actually start to see the reversal point on this one. Basically just meaning that we have a slight overextension here, um, you know, basically a small way bounce up and then a slight pullback a little bit lower, uh, maybe 86, maybe 85 cents. Okay, so somewhere like that uh, could be a possibility. Uh, although I would love 87.6 to hold, I am not 100% confident on that. Um, on the four hourly chart, we're coming down into the oversold. So this is support us going down a tad lower. Uh, the eight hourly chart is actually progressing. This is the same as Bitcoin. Uh, we don't have to bring this all the way down. We've seen reversals where they've been 
uh, medium uh, kind of corrections. So they've just come down enough. Um, so it's possible that this comes down just a fraction more and, and it's done and we go up from there. But I would have preferred it to be a, a little bit lower into the oversold area personally on the stochastic RSI. The dailies are already oversold, right? So we're already talking about moving up after this correction. So that's all good. Uh, and the weekly chart is bringing coming down actually pretty well. Um, but I do expect us to take this back up into the overbought area for a slightly bigger correction later. Um, so essentially for Cardano, yeah, we, we're really wanting to hold that area. Not 100% confident on it. I think there's a possible uh, dip a little bit lower um, just yet um, based on everything that Bitcoin is currently doing. So check out the Bitcoin video that I did this morning if uh, if you want to get a bit of an understanding as to what I think is going on there. Many of the altcoins are following what Bitcoin is doing. Uh, ADA in this example is also doing very similar stuff. Um, VeChain is also looking to pull back down a tad as well. So I am thinking that there's going to be a little bit more bleeding to be done here before we actually start to see any form of recovery. Um, but then we are pretty much right at the bottom now. So um, for me, I, I wouldn't mind personally if I were to just start buying up and dollar cost averaging this point. We might drop down a little bit lower, our dollar cost average there as well. And if we go down lower than that, I would dollar cost average. We are right at the bottom. Um, so we are going to be moving up significantly higher, in my opinion, than these low points that we're currently on. Um, but that's all it is. It is my opinion. I am not a financial advisor. I cannot offer you financial advice. Um, if you're looking for a financial advisor, you're going to be hard pushed to find one on YouTube. But they do exist. You might be able to find one here and there. Um, but uh, do treat this as educational um, and entertainment purposes only. Only. And uh, yeah, don't invest on anything I say or do. Um, those are all your own decisions. Um, but essentially, I'm thinking a little bit low. Now, if we jump up into the um, the higher time frames here, we are right in the sweet spot for the perfect correction and the perfect reversal, right? And um, so when we start thinking about what's next, uh, slightly longer term, past this corrective move, right in this sweet spot, obviously I can come down lower, right? We we're always talking about coming down as low as uh, 82.3. And um, you know, that's still a possibility. I don't think it's going to go down as low as that, mind. Um, but right now, this is the sweet spot, this big yellow box here, um, which I do think is our major corrective zone right so we have this big wave one this big wave two we could end up with a big wave three that comes afterwards right fourth and fifth that comes after that okay and what i would anticipate and what i'm thinking uh, is that the corrections that we've had on the daily stochastic rsi that we've had on the eight hour the four hour the hourly um, even the small correction that we've had on the weekly is should be enough to take us up into a third wave higher um, and then we have some kind of fourth wave that pretty much wipes out all the stochastic RSIs um, because the the sentiment is so bullish at that point. No one sells as there's a little correction. And essentially what you have is the price momentum gets wiped out. So that's what I'm hoping for and that I'm looking for. It's too soon to know if this is exactly what's going to be playing out, um, but it is kind of where my mind is at. It's also possible that um, you know we're in something totally different and uh, this is actually just A, B and C. Okay, that's also a possibility. And this now we've tracked five waves down could also be A, B, uh, if I actually click that properly there, um, this could be an A, a B and a C that takes us down even lower, right? That's also a possibility. Um, but what I'm looking for here is the right structure. And we've got the right structure so far and we're meeting the correct requirements so far. OK, um, so, yeah, really excited to see how this one plays out. Um, but I am hoping that we have, uh, you know, another five waves taking us up higher here for Cardano on the daily time frame. We definitely have the price momentum uh, behind us. Uh, we just need the right sentiment. Normally, wave threes, though, they are institutional player and whale players that jump into that one. And uh, as a result of that, not too many retail investors are jumping in because they don't really know what's going on. They're all thinking bearish scenarios. Uh, there'll basically be a few that jump in on their way three, but not many. Um, institutional whale players and whales will jump out at the top of way three and the FOMO will kick in from all of the retail investors taking it down into a way four and up into a way five. Um, but essentially that's kind of the structure and the kind of psychology over what we're looking here, uh, looking for here on Cardano. And um, yeah, I think there's some super exciting times to come here. And we, as we reach the bottom of this correction, which I do think is, is finally kind of coming in. So guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have found it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done and out the way. I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.